Hi everybody, so today we're going to give you a tour of Deer Creek Valley RV Park in Topeka, Kansas. Enjoy! Hope you enjoy. When you come off the road there to come into Deer Creek Valley RV Park, you're going to come straight down this road in front of you and there will be a gate there, but it's open during the day. It does close at 5 on weekdays and 6 o'clock on weekends and they'll give you a pass, or the code I guess, to get in. And you're just going to pull straight up this way. We've got a really pretty sunset tonight, don't we? Yes, it is. And you're going to pull up and go straight ahead, and the office is in that building right there. You'll go in there. To pull check up here, in. you'll go inside this door, and this is um, just right inside the lobby. They will have a paper for you to pick up. You don't even have to go all the way into the actual um, office there. Um, and so they'll have everything waiting for you right there. You just pick up your paper, come out here, and drive to where your site's going to be. As you can see, this is a pretty good size RV park. And I love how they have all the open area here. We're not quite sure what these doors were. We're not sure if one time this place used to be an RV park yeah, of some service sort, center, service center. Or something where you could park and get your work, your rig worked on or something. Yeah, because they have all these big garages here. We have here. a pool here, looks pretty nice. We haven't had the chance to use it as we're only here for a couple days. Uh, and then they, of course they have playground over there for the youngest to test the water out. How is it? It's actually not bad at all. Bad. Yeah. I don't know how late the pool is open. Yeah, neither. It's nice though. Nice and clean. Here's the dog park over there. Looks very nice. Nice and green grass and some benches to sit on. It's very big. Nice and big. But it's missing a fire hydrant. Oh, no fire hydrant like we saw on other ones, right? That's right. <laughs> you can see it's very wide coming through here so you shouldn't have any problem with whatever size rig you have. They've really laid this out nice, nicely um, but there's several rows and they're all pull throughs. I think there's a few back ends but not very many. Row. Yeah down by us is a few back ends and those look like they're mainly people that are here permanently. Of course I see several that are here permanently in the pull throughs but as you can see there's plenty of room to get through um, on these roads so here. A dump station here if you need to to do that. They do have that available for you to come through here and do. Um, but everything here is full hookups. But I guess if you were somewhere else and needed a dump. Just needed to come in and dump. You'd probably just pay a small fee and do that. I don't know if you can hear the noise. It is coming from the highway over beyond those trees. But really in our rig, we don't really ever hear it. We're four lanes over. So yeah, so not bad at all. Have dumpsters yeah. throughout the campground. They ask you to dump your own trash, which is no big deal. They do have Cardboard, cardboard, recyc cardboard recyclable. Yeah, <laughs> cardboard recyclable. So they do have that. There's also a bathhouse here. And this is also a place to go if you have severe weather here in Kansas. The storm shelter. Storm shelter, but um, these look very nice. Since everything else is so well taken care of here, I'm sure those are also very nice. This is our campsite right up there. You can see we have plenty of space in between. This is the one next to us never got taken while we were here. There are a few back ends like we talked about, and they are all over there. Those are the only back ends you'll find here. But all of these are pull through, and they are all you know, large, very long pull throughs. Everybody seems to have the same length, but you can see how wide this road is. But this is our site here, and we've only been here for two days passing through, but uh, this has been a nice campsite for us. We like it when we can camp on pavement, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Especially since we've had rain, this makes it really nice. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video, this quick video review of Deer Creek Valley in Topeka, Kansas. Right, and we were only here for two days. We're just passing through, but if you're coming by Topeka on your way out west or on your way out east, I would definitely stop here. This is a great campground. Um, they do have um, lower rates for if you're military, retired military. I think it was $40 for us. Normally it's $45. So we can't complain about that. That worked out pretty well. Yeah. So check this place out. We would highly recommend it. It's a nice campground. And um, I can't really say um, anything about the office staff, but we did ask about coming in early because we got here at 1230 and check-ins at 130 and they let us check in early. Our site was empty so we could check in. Yeah, no so problem. if you get here early, you do need to call and ask them if it's okay because checkout's not till noon. So they've had to make sure that people are out of their site. So we were very thankful to them for letting us check in early. But other than that, we really didn't have any more uh, interaction with anybody in the office. But 
like I said, this is a great campground. Check it out and be sure to look it over and I'll look it up and see what you think about it. And like I said, the price is really right and you're not far, you're probably about 15 minutes from food and shopping or whatever else you might need. And I'm sure there's lots of sites here to see. We just didn't really have time. Just didn't have time. We, we had to do some maintenance on our RV and take care of a few other things. So, um, but we're just glad we had somewhere nice to stay because we have had a lot of rain, a lot of rain. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've had more rain on this last uh, three campgrounds we've been at more than we've had since we left Florida in, in March. Yeah. And we appreciate you following us. Please hit like and subscribe and we'll, we'll see, see you around, around the campfire. campfire. Bye. Bye.